for another segment of Let's Dance, your host, Scotty Casino. And our topic for this episode is on crypto PPARs, which is a natural treatment for cancer, aging, and diabetes, and many more other dreaded diseases. And our guest is the chairman and managing director of simplynature.asia.com, and uh, he's none other than Mr. Cheyenne Lim. So, Cheyenne, you're saying that in Taiwan, you know, the, the, the government, you know, the, the yeah. Ministry of Health recognized the value of this. Yes, uh, they do. Uh, and then what, what can we learn as a, you know, from, from, from the Taiwanese experience, from the Philippine perspective? Did they go through the, a, a proper panel? Uh, I think panel? the good news is the good news is that not only Philippines, but the whole of a Southeast Asia, there's actually a uh, pact or a process that's going on now. They're going to try and unify uh, how FDA approves things oh. across the board. That means the FDAs of every country. But you know that process is going to take a long time. Sure. Well, yeah. that, well, at least they've already started, they started it. it. Okay. The wonderful thing about what the Taiwanese did was that mm. the Taiwanese have three categories of uh, products. Mm. They have their pharmaceutical drugs mm -hmm. that can make therapeutic claims because they're drugs. Yeah. Then there's food, vegetable, your tofu, your mm. chicken, your duck, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fruits. As and well. then there is actually this uh, department called health certificate. Okay. Uh, it's a health food certificate. So it's different from a food, but it's not a drug. Mm. It's a health food certificate, and they allow it to make therapeutic claims. Mm. Okay, there's, it has been around for more than 12 years. Fairly recent. Okay. Yeah. Less than 200 products have been approved. By this department. By this department. So you can imagine, Taiwan produces a large number of... They call it of Department of Health Food. Health Food. Okay. And what happens is that every, uh, every claim... Uh, health food logo, the claim, uh, is followed by a specific therapeutic claim. Yeah. So uh, one that every, every viewer will recognize is the very famous Yakult. Yakult, right, right. Yakult. Right. In Taiwan, Yakult will have a health food symbol, mm. and mm. It, which, is like, which is this symbol over here. Okay? It's okay. like a happy green man. Yeah, okay? yeah. And what Yakult is able to say above his competitors is this. Yakult can therapeutically claim it is a probiotic, good for your digestive system. It's not long, no longer just a tagline. Mm -hmm. It is a claim. It's a claim. It's a claim. So you can drink another brand of cultured uh, milk, yeah. but we don't know whether it Effect. works. Right. Right? But right, for right. Yakko, it is like taking uh, paracetamol. If you oh. take Yakko, it will aid your digestive tract. Serious? Okay. Yeah. okay. So our product is the only LJ product in Taiwan, which is the world. Taiwan is the world's number one producer of LJs. LJs, all right. But yet, we are the only company and the only product to not only have one, but three claims. Okay. okay three claims. We, ca we have the claim of lowering blood cholesterol. Mm hmm lowering blood sugar, mm -hmm. and just recently, September 14th or 12th, we got the third claim. We can now therapeutically, therapeutically say that we are able to improve the immune system. Oh. And specifically... It's more like curing AIDS. <laughs> uh, Eventually, you'll get there, I'm sure. Yeah, and, and, and specifically, uh, the last three... Because you talk uh, about immune systems. <laughs> yeah. The last three is, uh, it actually increases your natural killer cells. Okay. Uh, cytokine and mm -hmm. uh, one more macrophage activity. Okay. These three very technical terms are basically your three most important for anti-cancer. Okay. What is the therapy done? How is this done? Is this a, on, a, on a daily basis you have to okay. take like three times a day or? What's wonderful is I don't have cancer. I don't have uh, high blood cholesterol or high blood sugar. Mm. I take it every day because you know why? For 20 years, that we've been selling the product without therapeutic claims. Mm -hmm. It was just a superfood. Mm -hmm. You know, LJs are superfoods. The astronauts took it, oh. okay, for health and for nutrition. This LJ, where, where's it grown? Is it grown? It's grown in Taiwan, and there's only one source for this particular strain. It goes in a higher, in the up, uplands? Uh, it's actually grown in Taichung, uh, which is the Taichung. agricultural belt. Uh, okay. It's protected by mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, the water is clean. The air is clean. I see. Yeah. Okay. And maybe one day we'll try and grow it in the Philippines. Who maybe knows? one day, but it's got to be the up north, though. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. But but the the weather in the, the temperature in Taiwan is not 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 the same as the Philippines, though. Um. It's a little bit cooler there. It's a bit cooler. It's right. a bit cooler. Right. The wonderful yeah. thing about the algae is that you only need two things: water and sunlight. Okay. We don't put fertilizers. We yeah. don't do any of that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, knowing that it's a natural food, yeah, how's the cost? I mean, okay, 
I'm uh, sure our viewers <laughs> wanted to know. Is, is, is it, I mean, like, unlike synthetic, yeah. you took them putting some chemicals yeah. in it, that, is a, that come as a price, and then yeah. you put some advertisement, that put as a price. Yeah. Uh, right now, the price is not as, uh, fixed yet in Philippines no, because I'm we're, not, I'm not we're looking at about the distributors. Price, but in, terms, in terms of affordability, affordability. let's say, yeah, yeah. Let's say, would that, be, would that cost an arm and a leg for a, an, an average person ma making a daily wage? Or, or that means or, minimum here? Yeah, oh, yeah. what would you say? Uh, 15,000? Yeah, 15,000 a month. Yeah. Okay. Um, for our product... Like if you're buying a bottle of Coke, would yeah. be equivalent to a bottle of buying a bottle of Coke? Instead? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> or buying uh, a burger? Yeah, or? something like a burger. Uh, okay. okay. Something like a burger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it also depends on why you're taking it. Like yeah. for myself, if you're just for maintenance, mm -hmm. because I don't have any illness, then, yeah. then it's lower cost. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're if you having, if you're suffering from any ailments, yeah. you would want to take more. Just like you take more bananas if you have, right. if you can't go to the toilet, right? I see, I yeah. see. But who would prescribe the dosages? Would that be a doctor? I mean, you have a, a different kind of... You know, what's the wonderful thing, Todi? The thing is that it is really just LJ. So you don't, you, it's impossible to overdose, mm. okay? If you, if you eat too much, literally the worst thing that will happen to you is that your poo-poo becomes green. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe you feel a bit sayang because right, uh, right. It's it's you're flushing up your, your, your heart and money, right? Right, right. Yeah, but that's, that's all. Mm. Uh, but we do, we do have uh, medical doctors here. They mm. are trialing it on their patients mm. uh, from cancer to okay. diabetes. Right. Uh, we had a guest here from uh, uh, the Philippine Institute for the uh, uh, CIPA, uh, Advancement for Medicine. Have you been collaborating with them? No, not yet. In uh, fact, uh, recently one of my... I should refer you to them though. Prospective yeah. distributors, mm -hmm. they were interested in doing a dengue trial. Okay, oh, all right. Because, you know, that's an that's a issue and I mm. think that's a Department of Health would be interested. Mm. PICAM, they call it. Yeah. Philippine Institute for the... Alternative, right? Yeah, Advancement of Medicine, yeah. the Center for Advancement of, of, of uh, Medicine. Yeah. And, and yes, alternative treatment is what yeah. they really... Yes. Uh, under that Republic Act, they forgot already, the law that uh, uh, promotes yeah. the use of herbal treatment. Actually, uh, we, I have met with a few naturopathic doctors, mm -hmm. and uh, they like our product because we can explain the science. Yes. You know, yeah. And I think uh, and medical doctors uh -huh. like our product because we don't conflict with their profession. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if a cancer patient is going, on, going through chemotherapy yeah, or yeah. whatever treatment, yeah. I think it's very common. I mean, you will ask doctor, right? You ask your doc, doc, I'm going through this chemo. Is there anything I should eat or avoid eating? Can I mm. still eat my barbecue chicken? Mm. Can I still eat my inner sound? You know, and the interesting thing is for Western trained doctors, this is an area which uh, was not really covered by their uh, training. Right. So normally they refrain from any comments mm -hmm. or any recommendations. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, and they will just tell you, uh, just eat normally. Yeah. But if you ever went to see a Chinese physician, if you have fever, they'll mm -hmm. tell you no fried food. Uh, no chicken, no this, no that, no okay. chocolates. Yeah, yeah. But if you go, that's why as a child, I love to go and see my Western doctor because... because <laughs> I'll say, Doc, can I, I have fever, but I have flu. Can I eat chocolate? Yeah, and then I'll yeah, yeah. say it in front of my mom, right? Yeah. And the doctor will say, no problem. But if you go and see a Chinese doctor, no chocolate, no mm. potato chips, no fried food. So, uh, so here is where our product comes in. A patient is undergoing chemo or whatever treatment for ailments. Now, it's very difficult for, I think, a normal person to give up leche de lechon. Yeah. Or to yeah. give up manginasa. Correct, you know? correct. So, so now the thing is how, mm. right? How? So here is actually a natural food. You're just eating algae. Mm -hmm. okay? it's, it's washed, spray dried, and compacted. Okay. No binders, no fillers. We got to expand that further, but I got to talk somewhere. We got to pause okay. for a break. You're tuning in here on the Miss Portal for this segment on Trends and Asset Topic. episode is Crypto Peepers, an alternative treatment for diabetes and uh, low blood pressure or high blood pressure. And our guest here is the Managing Director and Chairman of the Simply Nature.Asia, other than Cheyenne Lim. Do go stay tuned for the concluding portion. <laughs>